Okay. Um, yeah, you got it. Lighting, yeah. the lighting is poor, but that's probably just as well. What had you in mind, Ian? What do you want to talk about? Um, well, you know, I mean, I, obviously I've been out of circulation um, really since the start of the, the lockdown. Yes. So, um, and in fact, you know, the, uh, the cancer ripped through my body between um, sort of mid-February and, and now. Um, and with the, you know, the current situation, I tried to sort of self-isolate, self-medicate. But it, the first time I came to the hospital, which was in, I think, late February, I mean, all, they just wanted to basically get a bowel movement and get me out of here. Um, so I went back home. And then, you know, the, the cancer just ripped and, 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 and everything was pretty excruciating. Um, so eventually I had to call the ambulance and, 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 and come to hospital. And, and initially, you know, there seemed to be some you know, considerable reluctance to operate because I clearly had a problem, you know, a tumor problem with the lower body. Yes. Um, and now what we've established apparently is that, you know, I have multiple issues because in the first instance, I have issues with basic bodily functions. So where we're at is that I go into surgery tomorrow to try and address the basic bodily functions. Um, but then I have this flesh eating bacteria that has somehow got into me that is ripping through my, my lower body. And um, so, I mean, basically, I'm now reliant on the skill of the surgeon uh, tomorrow to address the, um, you know, the basic uh, bodily functions. Um, and then following that, they're going to see how much they can actually do to address the, uh, um, the flesh-eating bacteria. But the prognosis isn't great yeah so, so i mean i i'll be frank i didn't actually expect to be awake on sunday morning after the first surgery but but something brought me around um and uh, and frankly it's you know absurd of observing from inside the hospital i mean it's it's getting a bit crazy i mean today despite the fact that it's pretty evident that you know i'm running into my last hours um but i couldn't take a delivery of of water um or ice cream and the security put the hospital on total lockdown in the end the compromise that was reached was that you know the nurses uh, wh smith inside the hospital was the only source of any purchase um and so i literally had to just sort of use you know give the nurses my credit card so, so you, had been, you had been you had been expecting a delivery from outside the hospital, and they wouldn't allow that in. Yes, yes, and they'd actually made the concession because the, the recognition was that um, um, you know I mean obviously that <laughs> they were trying to make me comfortable, but um, uh, then security kicked in and, and brought the hospital into lockdown. So yeah, you know, the nursing staff were fantastic because they yeah you know, they they helped. They, they helped to reach the compromise of going down to. Right, I'll just press turn it up. Sorry. Okay. Of reaching the uh, the compromise of going down and collecting the, the stuff for me. Yes. But um, but you know where we're at right now, it seems that things are changing literally on an hour by hour basis. Um, you know, the, the great tragedy is that obviously I'm, I'm not able to hook up with any family. I mean, thank God for what's WhatsApp. Yes. We have. We have that video contact, but um, you know, beyond beyond that, um, that's all we have. Uh, uh, you know, and you know, whilst I and my family are resigned to that, uh, it, I mean, it, 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 that is looking like it's going to be policy right across the country. Um, you know, that nothing gets in or out of the hospital unless it is effectively sanctioned by. The, uh, the security team here. So the security team are overriding the decisions of medical staff? Yes. Oh, yes. Absolutely. Um, um, 
And, and was there, was there and, something and, and, that caused them to, to lock this down today, or is this has this been the case since you've been in? No. Um, initially, I was getting deliveries. Um, then they were shut down, and then I obviously requested. I said, "Look, you know, for goodness' sake, I've got a few hours, possibly, you know, at, at least let me make it reasonably comfortable with, you know, the ice cream <laughs> and." Um, um, and bottled water, which you know, I much prefer to the local water supply. Yes. Um, and and as I, like I said, eventually we found the compromise. But you know, and, and that was really thanks to the dedication of the um, the nursing staff here, who I have nothing but massive respect for. Mm. You know, they are they are really really trying to function in an almost impossible environment. Um. And you know, I think we all know where this is going. And I, you know, watched your broadcasts the other day, and I think you know, you guys are pretty much spot on. Um, uh, go on. I, I, well, I was just going to say, well, what's what's the activity like in the hospital? Other, I mean, are they are they struggling? No, it's incredible. I mean, um, I mean, it appears to me that the hospital is is, is almost empty. Um, I mean, there's just two people on this ward, the cancer ward. Um, that's it. And, you know, so, I mean, there the other aspects of this, and the guys were telling me that um, you know, in, in cardiology, uh, the, you know, the cardiology team have four patients to look after at the moment. Wow. Um, I mean, they were going to, they, they run tests on my heart to see if I have any chance of actually surviving the uh, the operation um and, and and frankly i mean that's why i said that the surgeon has been completely honest which i respect and and actually told me that you know the likelihood of um you know coming through is pretty much slim to none um so if, if that changes it will be down to the skill of, you know the, the evident skill of the uh, of the surgeon yes but um you know uh, uh, what i see is very different from what is being portrayed. You know, uh, basically, I mean, right now, I mean, the other gentleman in the in the waters, um, you know, just left to give me a bit of privacy for the conversation. Right. And that, so I have the water myself. And um, so, you know, they're not exactly uh, inundated. Um, uh, and of course, the other factor seems to be that any death. Is now going to be recorded as COVID related. Yes. Regardless. Um, and, and and obviously that's an attempt to sort of maintain the charade of the of the uh, of the numbers of deaths because you know I mean I think um, Graham has his finger on the pulse in in terms of actual deaths and 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 I know Gemma yeah, Gemma Doherty in Ireland has her finger on the pulse in Ireland. And I think she's established that the number of deaths over the first three and a half months of the year is about 300 lower than it was last year. Yes. Yes. So, th- so they gave you a COVID test earlier today. Yes. Oh, yes. They kept coming back at me. I mean, every time my temperature fluctuated, um, you know, they came. Oh, I see. And, yeah, they came and um, checked it out. But you know, I mean, they've tried to balance that, and I think they've. Well, I, the final results, if you like, come back tomorrow. But um, you know, I've had a I've had a iron infusion, a blood transfusion, you know, and that's all part of basically trying to make sure that I'm in a stronger position as possible for the operation uh, tomorrow. Yeah. But you know, I mean, look, you know, nobody should mourn me, um, you know, and that's why I've kept it as quiet as possible for as long as possible, you know, because my story isn't isn't the big picture and it's really important that communities look at the the bigger picture and it's really important that communities find a way to come together um because obviously that's what's going on right now i mean it's a deliberate attempt to break up communities i mean the other side of it is it, it is perhaps giving families the opportunity to um you know come back together but um you know many of those families are going to struggle for financially um, and I think that basically they're going to take it to the point where um, 
you know, something like universal credit will be on offer, uh, provided you follow the protocols. We know what that means. Yes, indeed. Uh, I, I think there are hints that Spain is already going to start rolling out universal basic income. Yes. And uh, so I think this is probably what's coming for us all. Yes. Yeah. So, you know. Absolutely right. Yeah, and I, mean, I mean, it really is time. I mean, we've been obviously making the, the call for two decades now, plus, you know, for people to come together. Um, I mean, obviously, the community activism, particularly against fracking, was incredibly successful. Um, and, and I, yeah, I, I suspect that a big part of this is to try and sort of break up the, the local community activism um, and, and obviously take sort of literally full control of people's lives. Well, you know, I mean, I, I, have, I mean, like I said, I have nothing but phenomenal respect for um, the staff here. Um, you know, they, they are really, really trying to make us comfortable under very, very difficult circumstances. And, uh, but this afternoon, I mean, I did, I have to say that I had to sort of say, look, you know, basically by not even allowing me access to water that can be obtained from WH Smith downstairs is a fundamental breach of my human rights. Yes. And, and of course, the response was that, well, that's all suspended. Well, look, you know, you say, you say, of course, uh, <clears throat> people shouldn't uh, be thinking about you, but actually, you know, we, you have contributed so much and, you know, I think people should think about you a little bit. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hey, well, obviously, you know, part, part of me appreciates the accolades. Yes. The, the other part of me couldn't give a shit. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I know. That, <laughs> I know. <laughs> that, that's not my that's not my motivation, and uh, I mean, obviously, uh, like I said, I think we know how this is going to play out, and um, what's what's important, I think, you know, is that communities come together to decide how they want to respond. You know, um, I mean, and if they just want to sort of fall in line, that of course is their choice. But um, uh, I, all we can do, I think, at this stage is encourage people to actually take a pace back because they've got, now got the time to do so and, and, and look at everything that is occurring. Yes. Uh, well, look, Ian, uh, what, about, uh, what about the alternative view? Is there something you'd like to say to, to that audience and your, your audience? Listen, I think you know, the alternative view has made a great contribution over the last decade. Um, and I know that you and um, Brian and Matthew and Lisa Kelly and uh, Nicola, you know, um, Kenton, um, John, you know, and I, I think, you know, you've all done and made a superb contribution over that past decade, you know, not only with UK Column, but also supporting uh, fracking nightmare, humanity versus insanity, and um, I, I hope that in some way, shape, or form, um, these events can continue because you know bringing three hundred plus people together um, in, in a single venue, and and then obviously offering offering um, an online content as well. Um, you know, there's no question it has made a very positive contribution, and I know you guys will take it forward in in one way, shape, or form. Yeah, well, we will. We'll try to keep it as as close to to, to what it has been as possible. Um, yeah, we, we, which I really, really appreciate. Yeah. Um, yeah. Okay. Well, look, Ian, let, let let's uh, let's leave it there, unless you've got uh, something else you want to to say. No, I just. I mean, I think my final observation would be: I know you guys put out an um, announcement earlier in the week. Yeah. And and um, you know, I've seen you know, some of the uh, response to that. Um, and as I say, you know, whilst that isn't my motivation, um, I, I'm very, very appreciative of the uh, support, you know, physical, emotional, spiritual, whatever, that has been offered in, in return. So, yeah. you know, but, but my, I'm just a small part in what's occurring, you know, right now. And, 
you know, my great concern, obviously, is for the wider population, as it as it's always been. Okay, well, look, thank you for that, and uh, all we can say is all the best for 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 the operation tomorrow. I hope it is a success. Well, you know, it'll it'll be what it'll be. Um, um, uh, unfortunately, um, you know, because of the spread of the cancer, um, I, I got to say the likelihood of of actually coming through is is slim yeah. that's why i say you know i am really totally dependent on the skill of the surgeon uh tomorrow uh, there's no other way to put it I, I wish everybody all the best and um encourage people to you know do what we've been encouraging like i said for two decades do their own research come to their own conclusion of what, what is happening and then decide how it is that they're going to respond 